Have you ever wondered why a single negative thought can spiral into a storm of anxiety and worry? In the realm of the human mind, this is a phenomenon that has always existed. It's a world that we often refer to as the territory of toxic thoughts, a place where an insignificant concern can transform exponentially into an overwhelming whirlpool of negativity. This is a psychological phenomenon that intrigues many. To comprehend this complex process, we need to navigate the labyrinth of human psychology where countless theories and concepts reside. Among these concepts, there is one that stands out. It's known as the illusory truth effect an incredibly bewitching and subtle psychological bias that can dramatically alter our perception of reality. The illusory truth effect is a mental bias that leads us to believe something is more true or accurate the more frequently we see, hear, or think about it. This happens even when we have substantial evidence to the contrary or know deep down that the idea or statement we are contemplating is false. To understand this, consider an analogy. A single droplet of water falling onto a hard rock doesn't have any noticeable effect. However, if that same droplet falls consistently, over a prolonged period of time, it can eventually erode the rock. Such is the power of consistency and persistence. The same principle applies to our thoughts. If we continuously expose ourselves to negative thoughts, they begin to erode our mental resilience. They can erode our belief in ourselves, our self-esteem, our optimism, and our ability to cope with life's challenges. Repeated toxic thoughts can have such an impact that they wear away at our mental resilience and belief in ourselves. And where do these toxic thoughts originate? That's the question I'm sure we've all asked ourselves at some point. The answer as it turns out is buried deep within psyche, within our ego to be precise. The ego you see is much like a well-meaning but often misguided gatekeeper. Its sole purpose is to protect us from harm and ensure our survival. It's a relic from our ancient past when our very existence was threatened by predators and other dangers. However, in the modern world, our ego's protective mechanisms can often be counterproductive. It perceives threats and dangers where there are none. It often mistakes opportunities for growth and development as potential hazards and ends up sabotaging our progress and success. This manifests in the form of self-doubt and negative thinking, which hold us back from reaching our true potential. Imagine, if you will, standing at the edge of a precipice, ready to take a leap of faith. Your heart is pounding, you are sweating. You know that taking this leap could lead you to great places. But then, there's this little voice inside your head, whispering, suggesting, almost convincing you that you're not good enough, that you'll fail, that you'll be laughed at and rejected. That voice is your ego, interfering with your ability to take risks and seize opportunities. It is important to understand, however, that the ego is not inherently evil. It's just trying to protect you, albeit in a misguided way. It seeks to shield you from potential embarrassment or failure, from the pain of rejection or ridicule. But remember, it's just trying to protect you from potential embarrassment or failure. However, we can't let the ego have free reign over our minds. The ego, the part of us that is self-focused and self-serving, can often lead us astray if we let it dictate our thoughts and actions. It can trap us in a cycle of negativity that feels impossible to break free from. This cycle, in essence, is the ego running wild, feeding off our insecurities, our fears, and our perceived weaknesses. It's a cycle can lead to self-doubt, anxiety, and depression. So how do we break free from this cycle? How do we reclaim control over our thoughts and our life? The answer lies in becoming the observer the observer of our thoughts, our emotions, and our behaviors. This concept, often discussed in spiritual and psychological circles, is a powerful tool in regaining control over our minds and our lives. Becoming the observer has often been compared to stepping out of our minds and watching our thoughts play out like a movie. Picture it. You're at a cinema, watching a film unfold on the big screen. You're not involved in the plot, not emotionally tethered to the characters or their actions. You're an observer, watching the story play out from a third-person perspective. The same concept applies to thoughts. Imagine them as a movie playing out in your mind. You're not the actor, you're not the director, you're simply the observer. You watch your thoughts, but you don't engage with them. Don't let them control you. It's a form of mindfulness, a form of meditation. It's a way to step back and gain perspective. 
In observing our thoughts, a crucial separation is created, a separation between thee and the observer. When you realize that you can observe your thoughts, it prompts an important question. Who is the one thinking these toxic thoughts if you can observe them? Suddenly it becomes clear that you are not your thoughts, you are not your ego. You are something more, something beyond the negative thoughts and emotions. You are the observer. This realization can be a powerful tool to short circuit the cycle of negativity. It's not an instant fix, but a gradual process. It takes practice, patience, and persistence. But the rewards are immense. A sense of control, a sense, a sense of liberation from the toxic cycle of negative thinking, a newfound ability to choose your thoughts, to choose your life, a newfound ability to separate the ego from the self, to reclaim control over your mind. This realization, this power, can be the key to breaking free from the cycle of negativity. However, we can't let the ego have free reign over our minds. The next time you find yourself swirling in an unnerving cyclone of worry and doubt, just remember one thing. Take a breather and observe. Place yourself in the shoes of a silent spectator, observing your thought process from a distance. Picture yourself standing on a calm beach watching the intense waves of worry crash against the shore of your consciousness. This is a metaphorical scenario, but it is the first step to understanding the complex mechanisms of your mind. One of the common misconceptions about our mind is that all thoughts that it generates are beneficial for us, that they hold some value which protects us. That is not always the case. Our thoughts are often influenced by our ego. The ego is a part of our psyche that acts as a gatekeeper of our self-identity. It defends us in this chaotic world, determined to protect our sense. However, it is also known to be frequently misguided, often steering us towards negativity and distorting our reality. These thoughts can often spark fear, anxiety, and doubt within us, clouding our vision and judgment. They can disrupt our mental peace, making us question our capabilities, our worth, and sometimes our very existence. Therefore, it's crucial to understand and acknowledge that the ego is not an infallible guide. So how do we break free from this vicious cycle of incessant negative thoughts? By becoming the observer. This requires you to step back from your immediate emotions and view your thoughts from an outside perspective. This shift in perspective allows you to disconnect from the toxicity your thoughts might be brewing within. Now ask yourself a simple yet profound question. Who is thinking these thoughts? This question acts as a powerful tool to halt the carousel of negativity in its tracks allowing you to regain control over your thoughts. By questioning the origin of these thoughts, you're essentially challenging your ego, forcing it to step back and allow your rational mind to take over. This simple question, simple potent, can help reset your mind, providing you a clear, unclouded view of your thoughts. It helps to interrupt the ceaseless cycle of toxic thoughts, bringing forth a newfound clarity that can empower you to let go of unnecessary worry and doubt. So the next time you find yourself spiraling into a whirlwind of worry and doubt, remember to step back and observe. Understand that the ego is trying to protect you, but also know that it's often misguided. Become the observer and ask yourself, who is thinking these thoughts? This simple question can help reset your mind and break the cycle of toxic thoughts. In conclusion, toxic thoughts are fueled by the illusory truth effect and our ego's misguided attempts at protection. This effect, which was first identified by researchers Hasher, Goldstein, and Topino, essentially states that when we hear or see a statement repeatedly, we begin to perceive it as more truthful, regardless of its actual veracity. This plays a giant role in the formation of our toxic thoughts, as we often internalize negative beliefs about ourselves that are repeated to us or that we repeat to ourselves. Further exacerbating this issue, our egos often engage in a misguided effort to protect us. The ego, in its desire to shield us from pain or discomfort, might convince us to believe in these toxic, it may present them as a mechanism of self-defense, warding us off potentially harmful situations or individuals. However, we hold the power to disrupt this harmful cycle. This power lies in becoming the observer, an essential practice in mindfulness. By taking a step back, detaching ourselves from our thoughts and emotions, we can learn to identify and challenge these toxic thoughts. Questioning our thoughts forms the crucial part of this process, 
Are these thoughts based on factual information or are they just negative assumptions? They helpful or harmful? By interrogating these thoughts, we can undermine their credibility and reduce their impact on our lives. Remember, our minds are powerful tools. They have the capacity for great creativity, innovation, and problem solving. But the power of our minds is only beneficial if we use them rightly. We should strive not to be passive recipients of our thoughts, but active directors, consciously choosing the thoughts that serve best. Don't let your mind use you. By refusing to be controlled by our toxic thoughts and instead choosing to control them ourselves, we can lead healthier, happier lives. Subscribe, like, and comment. Also, hit the like button so you can see more of the same content.